Welcome to Martin's Institute of Teaching. So in this video, we're going to be working with PEP8, and we're going to be doing something really fun, which is called multiplying. So in this tutorial, tutorial we're going to introduce you to something called ASLA. A-S-L-A. <coughs> really, it's just A-S-L, which is... Also, it can be written A-S-L in capital, and all that means is arithmetic shift left. And what that does, all that does is multiply whatever value you, you, you want by 2. So you're going to multiply a value by 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start off, we're going to say branch, branch to main. After that, we're going to declare our variables. Now, right now, I'm going to declare number one, because we're going to use that, as dot block two. So that's a byte of, or that's a, a variable of two bytes. Now we're going to have um, num two. That'll be dot block two. Same thing. Now I'm also going to create one more, and I'm going to call that result. This time I'm going to say block two. Sometimes you'll see them write the like this value right here, block, in capital in caps or, or lowercase. It doesn't really matter. It means the same thing. It doesn't do any difference. Or it doesn't change anything. So now let's go ahead and get started on our program. So here I'm going to write main. And right away, the first thing I want to do is I want to get a value from the user. So I'm going to say deci. You can write a deci like that, or you can write deci like this. Same exact thing, doesn't make a difference. So let me say deci. Uh, deci, and I want to bring in, I want to get that value from the user, and I'm going to, I'm going to put it into number one. I'm going to say directly. After that, I'm going to say, let's load that value. So LDA means load the accumulator. That's what the A stands for. So LD is load, and A is accumulator. We're going to load the accumulator with number one directly. So let's see, after we do that, now we, so what we have essentially have done right now is we've grabbed a value and we've put that into the accumulator and now we want to multiply that number. So what ASLA does is it multiplies by two. So we're going to say a ASLA and that's all you do, just straight ASLA. Oh, why don't I put some comments on here too? So let's see, this, uh, so get a value from user down here. All that's doing is put value, or let's say, yeah, so put value num1 into accumulator. Okay, so that's going to put it into the accumulator, and this right here, ASLA, all that's going to do is it's going to double the value of num1, or in other words, okay, so double the value of number one, or in other words, just multiply by two. So, okay, so we got that now. So now we've multiplied our value by two. So now what I want to do is I want to store the value, this new value, into our result. So we're going to say STA, which means store the accumulator. And I'm going to store it in result. So I'm going to say result. And we're going to say directly again. Uh, it doesn't require this space, but I like it there just to make it look neater. Okay, so now now we've stored the accumulator into result, and now I want to actually print out to the screen. So now I'm going to say deco, or decimal out, and I'm going to say result, comma, d, direct. So there you go. So this right here, I didn't put comments in there for this one. So this is store uh, accumulator in result. Next one, this right here, all this is just print uh, result out. Print result out. So after we do this, now we need to tell PEP8 to stop. So we're going to say stop. And then we need to tell it to 
end the program. So, okay. So now we've written it. So now let's go ahead and test it out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, click build or assemble. So it assembles it and now we're going to run it. And over here, make sure you, uh, you click on terminal input output. So you want to enter in values for this. So now we want to enter in a value. So what are we going to enter? Let's enter in something simple. Let's go with two. So if we put two, we should get uh, number two into number one. It'll go into number one here. We're going to load that number into the accumulator. So two is going to be placed into the accumulator. We're going to multiply two, uh, or we're going to perform an, an arithmetic shift left on the accumulator, which is multiply two by two. And then after that, we're going to store that value in the accumulator, which at this point should be four. We're going to store it into result. And then we're going to print result out and then just end the program. So let's click enter and see what happens. There we go. We get four. And let's run this again. And now let's put in another value like four and see what we get, which is eight. Now, that's uh, that's all hunky-dory, but uh, what happens if we want to multiply by four? Oh, you just do it again. So this time, if we do it... Oh, wait. Sorry about that. Uh, before we do that, you got to click uh, build. So now we're going to put in there, I don't know, let's put in let's put in 2. So if we put 2 in there, we're going to be multiplying by 4, so this should be 8. There you go. Let's run it again. Let's put 4 in there this time. Shit, 16. And no problem. So that is how you multiply by, well, by 2. That's how you use ASLA. So this is just multiplying by two. So I'm going to make another couple videos on this. Uh, the next video I'm going to show you how to, well actually I'm not sure. Well, I'll make another video and it'll be a continuation of this. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, great. Please click like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, good luck in your classes.